Uganda will have moved a step closer to its dream of 52,000 megawatts by 2040 if the nuclear energy project expected to produce power in the next six years starts. The first site is expected to produce 8,400 megawatts, expected in phases starting with 1,000 megawatts in 2031. In a significant step forward, the government has signed an agreement with Korea Hydro and Nuclear Power to conduct a site evaluation for the proposed Buyende nuclear power plant. The contract we've signed is to allow this company to go on site. The first site is in Buyende, which is estimated to generate 8,400 megawatts. Currently, the ministry is in the process of acquiring about 30 square kilometers of land and the resettlement action plan studies being conducted in a few weeks time to come. At the moment, the country is conducting detailed uranium exploration and evaluation to identify the resources that will be used for a sustainable nuclear energy program. But since our target is to have the first nuclear power plant by 2031, we are looking at international suppliers for the first unit while the country develops her uranium resources. South Korea has pledged to support Uganda in achieving its sustainable energy goals, including the development of nuclear power to diversify and enhance the country's energy mix. KHMP will actively cooperate to ensure the successful realization of Uganda's ambitious vision to build 24 gigawatt of nuclear power plants. Today, I'm especially pleased to see our partnership expand into the field of nuclear energy. We have come this far, even though we still have much to achieve. Other potential sites for Uganda's future nuclear energy projects include Kiruhura, Nakasongola and Lamo districts. Under the 2023 energy policy, the country and space electricity demand to soar to 52,481 megawatts by 2040, with nuclear power expected to contribute nearly half of the total, delivering up to 24,000 megawatts once operational. Betty Ndagire, NTV Business.